I'll do. Rick T, outdoor adventure, and we're up in the glorious Lake District again, smashing a few more Wainwrights. I'm out today, it's our monthly trip, so and we are six fill, and we're turning over outdoors again, same as Sky felt the other week. And uh, like I say, we're going to smash a few Wainwrights, but behind me is White Gill, and we're going to go up White Gill to initially, which is going to be a nice sort of scrambly start, and we're going to get up into these mountains. We're in the Langdale Valley, an absolute beautiful place, fantastic place, and a well-known place, a busy place. But hopefully, we're slightly off the beaten track up here, and we'll have this to ourselves within reason. But it's going to be a good one. We're going to camp high up, so stick with us. Cheers. What a beautiful place and always a joy to get back in Lake District. It's fantastic, I love it. Yeah, absolutely love it. I'm up here today. I'm no billy dogs because obviously scrambling up here and what have you, and all the rest of it, carrying a big pack. But uh, yeah. I was thinking of my mate Mick a bit, top mate, that I used to kayak, we had loads of kayaking adventures with him, he's a good lad and I'm sure he'll be alright, he's a strong, powerful, talented lad, but he's uh, one of the most talented lads I know, clever fella, good kayaker, good mountain biker, good ad all round adventurer, but he's got an operation today for uh, some sort of cancer, you know, and what have you, and uh, so, thinking of him in this beautiful place and hoping all goes well, which I'm sure it will do. He's a fighter and he's a strong fella. But, uh, yeah, what a bloody place to be. And good luck, mate. I know you won't be watching this, pal, but, yeah, sending you positive vibes, mate. But, yeah, beautiful. Weather's supposed to be a bit fickle, you know. It's starting to rain a bit now, I think we're going to have that on and off with a bit of sleep, some heavy winds. Well yeah, always a great adventure in it, eh? Always a great way to gain height when you're scrambling up at mountains. Always the best way. <laughs> it's going to be one of them days today with constant uh, little showers and little snow flurries and little bits of uh, sleet. So. We're out here for a night, so I don't want to get my underclothes wet. I don't want to be wet with sweat either, really. So I'm just taking a layer off my fleece, and uh, I'll just put my waterproof on top of this. Just, just going to keep me dry. I'll keep the, the vents open under the armpits. Throwing pottery, not moving fast. Catching a bit of footage. These lads love the photography, so they'll be getting some great shots. spots up here like imagine getting yourself roped up here getting your uh, figure of eight tied onto that harness wrapping your gear getting ready to set off up this bit here eh? look at that <laughs> oh hell. I'm opposite side of the valley from where I was with work kids last week with a group from work we were on there 
top of side pipe last week. A blooming great little venue for groups as an introduction to the mountains. Oh well, yeah, what a beautiful day. chill I would have thought so we're gonna get to well and while you stop you shouldn't get cold anyway don't you so get a bit of bagging and a drink we've got a little bit of sleety snow coming down but absolutely fantastic we've been lucky with weather so far haven't we lads eh? oh, uh, bloody hell. haven't we Min. Min. absolutely fantastic a flurry of snow now but oh oh man look at this oh hey <laughs> Look at that, driving past that baldy. <laughs> Brilliant. It's just hard work, we have it camera in your hand. Me out a minute ago, Tony. <laughs> Blew me over this rock behind me, and my hat disappeared like a frisbee. Lee Rig, what an awesome spot. <clears throat> yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous. The summit just there. Not many people knocking about over this side, so we've got it to ourselves. A bit of spring, pretty nice, but uh, yeah, it's just that wind at the minute, it's a bit wild. Fairview behind me, we're gonna go up the easy gully onto the top of Fairview. Fantastic, beautiful. See Jack's rake up there. Boom. It's a good out climb that, well, a good scramble, sorry. Done a couple of climbs up there as well. A nice climb straight up from bottom of Jack's Rake. Yep, Stort's Crack, I think it's called. It's a good one.
reckon this is the spot. It's still windy, but we've got a little bit of shelter. The wind's coming channeling round, but yeah. I reckon this is as good as we're gonna get. Lads are just filling the waters up down there. Uh, I'll fill the quick cut on the line. I'm just gonna boil it. Lads, lads are doing a bit of filter, I think, so they're slightly behind me. But I've had a walk up here, and I reckon this is this is about as good as we're gonna get. So we're pitched, but it's it's rough. <coughs> you know, it is rough. It's blowing, it's blowing. Now it's just started lashing down. It's well, well raining. Uh, <coughs> what a laugh! Little bit of a sheltered spot. Yep, on the side of Loft Crag. Uh, it's not too sheltered as you can see because it's some grapple, some some grapple in this tent up. But uh, hey. Tents up for a minute, so hopefully this wind calms down a bit. Fingers crossed. I'll put a couple of more layers on. So we're getting a bit cold. So that's it. Two more layers on. It's nice and wet now. Just me hands a little bit. But, uh, oh, yeah, I'm ready for a brew. I think. I'm gonna get a brew on in a minute, but uh, yeah, it's always unnerving when tents. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're thinking, gee, how much do, do I get all my gear out? You know what I mean? And then tent gets ripped to bits and all the all my kits. Anyway, got kits out at a minute. Uh, I've not got my sleeping bag out of my mat out yet. I'm just going to chill like this for now and uh, make a brew, have a bit of something to eat. But a brew's a priority. <laughs> Good test for the Van Gogh Kern going this. But, uh, Went up all right, difficult though, because it's a bit wind, you know what I mean? Of uh, where you're just trying your best not to bend any poles, aren't you? But mm. it's wild out there, but uh, yeah, good test for it, eh? Oh man, maybe that brew though. Dry my gloves out there and uh, get a brew on. I need to bring this to a nice rolling boil. That's straight out at uh, straight out at stream. That out at gill. So it's not been filtered. So I'll just give it a make sure it's boiling. It'd be right that. Just christening my new cup. Cheers, Mike. And uh, dink, dunking a bit of tuna sandwich in it. Hey. Eh? What it's all about in it, a dunk tuna sandwich. That's a good turn on my tent. Just got out, got out for a minute and it fucking went flat and it. Sorry. Yeah, it'll be yeah, great, mate. Well, I got out briefly, and wind just flattened my tent. So, poles are pretty bent, nowhere near the headroom that I did have. <laughs> hey, bloody nightmare, innit? You might be able to get some more poles for this, I don't know. Look at this, tent flattened. So we've had to, we've got my two poles on this side, holding up that side. And then luckily, Tony had two poles as well. So we've had to use Tony's two poles on this side, yeah, we can tell we're flat and that, that top thing was snapped. What an absolute legend, Phil, for thinking of that idea and Tony for his balls. That's going to make a massive difference for tonight. It just shows, doesn't it, how you've got a bit of problem solving and uh, you know what I mean? I could have sat here all night trying to hold that up with my head and then ended up led on the floor, it collapsed on top of me. But fing fingers crossed, that's gonna do the job. But hell fire, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get some bloody dinner on now. Or tea, I should say. The 
on the brew on. We've got brew here and a bit of cake, a bit of Jamaican cake, a bit of Jamaican cake. But this wind's not letting up, and I mean it is strong wind. You know, it must be must be 50 mile an hour of space mental. Yeah, <laughs> we must be off our heads. These lads are out there trying to capture the aurora borealis. Yeah, northern lights, but uh. Yeah, I think they're struggling from where we're pitched, as in, we've not got a great view north, so, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get in my bike now, I'm in my bike, I'm going to curl up and get my head down anyway, so, oh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning, I'll let you know how we get on. Bloody hell, basically, holding this end, you can feel the wind. Oh, wrapping in here, so my apple will be staying on tonight because the wind is channeling through here. It's freezing my hand, my hand's up there, and it's freezing my hand. So, anyway, I'll see you morning. <laughs> well, hopefully. <laughs> Great deal of sleep, quite a light sleep for me, and making a racket all night, weren't it? Sent <laughs> alright, mate. Yeah, 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 amazing job, that bloody repair job, honestly. Yeah, I tell you what, hey, it was a bloody saving off, weren't it, eh? Mm. Good thinking, Batman, shine off. I'll tell you what though, you know, just thinking outside box and what you can do with kit that you're carrying. Yeah. Just making a couple of splits out of them poles, what a bloody tell you. Fantastic job. All light of day. Not quite six o'clock in the morning, but the tent survived due to that uh, fantastic repair job that, that uh, Phil came up with. And uh borrowed Tony's poles as well as mine. So I'll show you what we did. There's Tony's poles, taped to that side, wedged in with a rock at the bottom. Come round here. There's my poles, a bit of Tony's gaffer tape and a guy line from Phil wedged in there. So we basically did some serious first aid on the tent, yeah. Some splints, just like you do with a broken leg, except it weren't snapped, it was just a bent leg. <laughs> yeah, we did the job anyway, but it was a wild night anyway, and it was the best kit. So yeah, fantastic this morning anyway. I'm going to get a brew on and some uh, bit of breakfast. First brew it day. So the Van Gogh Kern going suffered a little bit, but uh, hey, these lads did a good job in their tents, didn't you lads, eh? Bomb proof. Yeah, we right, right. So we've got the Snug Pack Scorpion 2 down here, that Phil were in, and uh, he hardly budged, did he? Hardly blooming moved, yeah. every credit, so good tent for... <laughs> 50 mile an hour winds. It, no, it were blowing. I don't know exactly what it were, but it were strong winds. Oh, they were. Some so, yeah. So, I mean, that's that's it, you know, and they're not a bad price for snug packs, are they? No, they're all right. I can't yeah. remember how much I paid for it, 350 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you want a good tent for wind, you've got the snug pack Scorpion 2 there. Yeah. So, a decent one. And then we're over here, we've got uh, the King of Tents. The King of Tents, which, which survived and it should have survived, shouldn't it, eh? So we've got the Ehrlichberg. You know which one is it? At the solo. solo? We're in solo, yeah. 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 So yeah. Well, I mean, Tony's tent, and that's his go-to sort of <laughs> bad weather tent. Yeah, you were saying you like your other one, your little. You know, uh, I prefer, yeah, it's just a bit cramped inside. You struggle to get rid of it. Yeah, all your kit. You got to, you got to be organised. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. But. 
He did the job, didn't he? And he stayed up strong. You can have confidence in it. I was right. I was right. So, but I'm not getting rid of the Kern Goyim. It was, uh, it was a, a gift from a top lad. And, uh, so if I can bend them poles back in place and they're all right, I might stick with them. But I tell you what, them walking poles might be getting fastened up every single time, even before. <laughs> Before I start, but uh, hey, up did the job, eh? So anyway, beautiful morning now, sun shining, still fresh. I'm gonna start breaking down with kit. So as usual, leave no trace. That's where I was. Yep. Tony's just wrapping up there. There's Phil's spot. Yep. No rubbish anywhere. Just a bit of flattened grass, there, eh, lads. Easy peasy. So thanks for joining us. Rick T, Outdoor Adventure. And I've not got Billy Dog today, but uh, thanks for Phil and Tony for joining me on this little adventure. Got another Wayne Wright ticked off, bleak crack, fantastic night of big mountains. Shame about the tent, but we sorted it. But uh, it just shows that you've got to carry them back up little bits of kit, that bit of gaffer tape, that little bit of paracord, those little repair kits. What a difference it makes just having them on hand, it got me through the night. But yeah, thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you again real soon. Alright, see you ladies. Sit